Hey, it's Devin. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another type of organizational video. Today we're going to be talking about linen closet organization. Um, so I'm in nesting mode, so I've been organizing and decluttering basically my entire house. Um, so I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks that have worked for my linen closet. Um, now just a little bit of a backstory. My husband and I bought this house about five years ago and it was a foreclosure and a really big fixer upper. So we've been slowly kind of basically tearing each room apart and putting it back together. So our linen closet's nothing fancy. We haven't done anything with it. I haven't done anything with it to make it look Pinterest worthy or pretty. Um, but this system has kind of been working for me and helping maintain it, um, keeping it clean because it is very small. One thing before I show you my linen closet that really made a big difference in keeping my linen closet a little bit less cluttered um, and clean was that I used to store all of my bed linens in there for all of the rooms. So my guest room, which is a futon, which is a full queen bed, my son's room, which is a twin, and this one, which is a king, I was keeping everything in that closet and it was taking up so much room between that and the towels. It was always getting messy and crazy in there. So what I started doing is I bought long plastic tubs for the bottom, shallow ones for the bottom of every single one of the beds. And I store um, that particular bedroom's linens under their own bed. So all of my queen linens are under my guest room bed, all of my twin linens are other, my, under my sun bed, and all of our king size linens are stored under our bed. Um, so this is actually the bed that we uh, just built. So once we finish it and we build our headboard and the drawers, I'm going to show you how we did that. So stay tuned for that. Um, so just before I showed you the closet, I wanted to explain why you're not seeing a lot of linens. And that has made a huge difference in my closet by keeping it a lot less clutter free and that way the things that I do have in my linen closet I can keep cleaner. So let's get to it. So this is an overview of our closet. I got the shoe organizer from Walmart for about five dollars. I used to store all my medications in bins but I found that it would make things very difficult to find when we actually needed them and was hard to keep organized. So I got this organizer and I like that it's clear so that I can see everything very easily. I only store the medications on the top three, that way my son can't reach them, but he is only three years old, so that might be something that'll change as he gets older. So in the top pocket, since my husband loves taking medicine when he's sick, I have cold and flu night medications, cold and flu day, pain relief, miscellaneous things. I like to use more homeopathic things for my son, so I store them all in these pockets as well as his thermometers. Then I have band-aids, gauze, tape, things like that. And at the bottom, I keep extra pillowcases. I bought these labels, I believe, at the Dollar Spot and Target. They're the chalk labels. I use a chalk pen. I love that the pockets are clear. It makes things very easy to see. So my husband and I know where everything goes, where it comes back. Guests that come to our house can very easily find things that they need. It just has been a very easy and helpful system. So the top row here, I just store my son's nebulizer and humidifier for when he's sick. And then on the next shelf, I have just my cleaning supplies. Sometimes I have more things. Um, there's extra light bulbs as well as Epsom salts when I do detox baths for my son. Then I have this wire shelf divider where I keep extra toilet paper and towels. When laundry's done, there's more towels. Then the next one, I have these drawers where I keep extra first aid supplies like ankle wraps, anything like that. Then I have tissue paper, toilet paper, and here I keep my extra slip cover as well as old sheets that I use for drop cloths and tablecloths. So that's the closet. So that was my linen closet. As I said, I know it's nothing exciting and pretty and Pinteresty, but um, it's functional and it's working for me and my family. And one day I will get to making it look pretty once <laughs> I finish the rest of my house. If you guys have any other tips and things that you guys use to keep your linen closet clean and neat, um, leave it in the comments below. And if not, subscribe, and then you can get updates on when I post my new videos. Bye. Thanks for watching.